Some of the vehicles on this list may make you wonder what their designers were thinking, while others will appeal to your sense of humor. Unfortunately, not all of them are open to the public, so if you fall in love with the P car, you're out of luck. Here are the 14 of the world's strangest cars of all time. Number 14. Vision Mercedes Simplex There aren't many concept cars on this list, but the 2019 Vision Mercedes Simplex has to be included. Its design pays homage to the first Mercedes race car, which debuted in 1901, but has been updated with modern technology and materials. The original Mercedes 35 PS race car abandoned carriage-like designs in favor of a front-engine configuration, with the engine low in the chassis and a two-passenger bench behind. In place of a grille, the Vision Mercedes Simplex has a digital display with a rose gold frame reminiscent of the original automobile. The screen can display either the classic Mercedes logo in script or information about the vehicle's alternative fuel powertrain. Number 13. Polaris Slingshot The Polaris Slingshot has two widely spaced front wheels and a single rear wheel. A cover is provided, but driving a slingshot is mostly an open-air experience. To be legal in some states, you must wear a motorbike helmet. A four-cylinder engine with up to 203 horsepower provides power. It is compatible with either a manual or an automatic transmission. It has car-like features like cruise control, heated and cooled seats, and a 7-inch infotainment display. Number 12. Plymouth Prowler Many components of Plymouth's Roadster were shared with other Chrysler models, notably its anemic V6, which was sourced from the company's LH sedans. The transmission was also from the LH vehicles, but it was mounted to the back axle of the Prowler. The steering wheel was taken from one of the company's minivans. It got its suspension from a Dodge Viper. There was never a manual option, only a 4-speed automatic with an auto-stick manual shifter. The Plymouth Prowler's considerable usage of aluminum was revolutionary at the time. The trunk of the Prowler was so small that the firm sold a matching trailer to hold a weekend's worth of luggage and groceries. The Prowler was launched to critical and market praise due to its design, but it never truly found its voice. It was in effect from 1997 to 2002. Following the retirement of the Plymouth Mark, its final years were marked by a Chrysler logo. Number 11. Citycom City L in the early 1990s, Citycom began experimenting with a low-cost, distinctive-looking EV, and the City L was born. Remember how we said that most cars have doors? Technically, one half of the Citycom City L was a door. Furthermore, the Citycom City L had just one headlight, three short wheels that resembled motorcycle wheels, and a terrible range. How far can a Citycom City L travel on a single charge? A Citycom City L should run out of juice after only 30 miles of driving range. Number 10 1974 Vanguard Sebring City Car We know what you're thinking. This one was nothing more than a cheese wedge propelled by an electric motor, which was meant to be popular in the 1970s in the aftermath of the oil crisis. The ungainly style also left a lot to be desired in terms of interior space. To be honest, the Vanguard Sebring City Car was a hideous sight that would either make tiny children cry or laugh you off the road. Kids can be nasty. Its slow speed of 36 miles per hour didn't assist much. The city car was discontinued in 1979, and with the advent of electric vehicles, it has become a historical relic. Number 9 1970 Ferrari 512 S Model O The body appears to be positioned on a bow-like chassis, with a canopy-style glass shield sliding to allow ingress into the cabin. This one has even more strangeness. All four wheels are partially covered. From a distance, it seems like a spaceship. The Ferrari 512S Model O first appeared at the 1970 Geneva Motor Show. The designer, Paolo Martin, did not appear to be striving for aesthetics when he sketched the Model O. Only one was built, and it was later sold in 2014 to an American car enthusiast named James Glickenhaus. Number 8. Oscar Mayer Wienermobile Seeing the hot dog car on the road is bound to generate a lot of enthusiasm, especially if you have children under the age of 12. Carl Mayer constructed the first Oscar Mayer Wienermobile in 1936 as an advertising ploy. There are currently six Wienermobiles on the road at any given time, though Oscar Mayer plans to retire the fleet in 2020 because of the pandemic. What would it be like to drive a 27-foot hot dog with pandemic guidelines? Each Wienermobile starts out as an Isuzu NPR medium-duty commercial vehicle outfitted with a Chevrolet L96 6.0-liter V8 engine. Six soft ketchup and mustard-colored seats are available on the inside. Unfortunately, it isn't filled with hot dogs, but you might be able to get a plush wiener or a sought-after wiener whistle. The best part? On Oscar Mayer's website, anyone can request a visit from the Wienermobile.
Number 7. Popemobile. Heads of state and other VIPs frequently travel in vehicles that have been highly modified and fortified. The Popemobiles, which are specially equipped cars that the Pope uses for public engagements, are among the most well-known of them. Each Popemobile has bulletproof glass, a handrail that allows the Pope to stand while driving, and steps for easy entry and egress. Many of the Popemobiles are modified Mercedes-Benz M-Class and G-Class SUVs, although Fisker said in 2021 that it will create a unique version of the Fisker Ocean to be the Pope's newest vehicle. The Fisker Ocean Popemobile will be the first all-electric, emission-free papal vehicle. A massive, contemporary, all-glass cupola will provide Pope Francis with access and visibility. Fisker co-founders Henrik Fisker and Dr. Gita Gupta Fisker met with Pope Francis privately to submit their designs, and the new Popemobile is slated to be delivered in 2022. Number 6 Chevrolet SSR At first, we weren't sure what to make of the SSR, Super Sport Roadster. Is it a truck? Is it a hot rod? In our first assessment, we asked, is it a sporty convertible? Does it really matter? To be honest, we still don't. The SSR was the first, and, to this day, only pickup truck with a retractable hardtop, which gave owners something to brag about. Because even with 300 horsepower from its hard-working 5.3-liter V-8, acceleration of this heavy Chevy was scarcely worth bragging about. Things improved in 2005 with the addition of a 390-horsepower 6.0-liter V8 engine, which, when combined with a six-speed manual transmission, propelled the SSR to 60 miles per hour in under 5.5 seconds. Nonetheless, the SSR proved to be a little too weird for purchasers, and sales never took off. Production ceased in 2006, and it took Chevy some years to dispose off the remaining stock. Number 5 2013 Uabian Puma Dr. Kamba's Uabian designed this weird monstrosity, which combines the worst aspects of a Volvo C70 convertible with the worst aspects of a monster truck and propels them forward with a 505 HP Chevy LS7 V-8 from a modern Corvette Z06. Despite its 3.5-ton curb weight, the Puma is said to be highly agile at 20 feet long and 7.5 feet broad. No surprise, therefore, that Dr. Uabien failed to pique the interest of the well-heeled consumers he sought. He only sold three Pumas, all to overseas buyers and for far less than his $1.1 million asking price. What is Dr. Uabien's day job? He works as a plastic surgeon in Beverly Hills. Number 4 2017 Carlman King This one has so many overlapping shapes that it can create diplopia. The production of the world's most costly SUV began in 2017 in Italy and the United States. The massive machine, which is powered by a 6.8 LV10 engine producing 398 horsepower, can only reach 87 miles per hour. Among other things, the Carlman King has a coffee machine, optional bulletproofing, a flat-screen TV, a laptop, and a fridge. However, the external design with numerous shapes is pretty interesting. Number 3 Elio P5 Despite its appearance as a death trap on wheels, the Elio P5 is as safe as it is stylish. The Elio P5 originally featured a modest 0.9-liter three-cylinder engine, but due to tougher emission rules, Elio converted the P5 into a three-wheeled EV. According to the manufacturer, the speedy quadricycle will have a top speed of 110 miles per hour and will cost only $14,900. While it may sound overly hopeful, we are looking forward to the production-ready version of the American-built Elio. Number 2 1981 DeLorean DMC-12 John DeLorean was a high-flying executive at General Motors who departed the firm and left behind a tell-all book. He promised the world a one-of-a-kind sports automobile, and by 1981, he had delivered the first models of the wedge-shaped DMC-12. Approximately 9,000 DeLoreans were constructed before the company's demise in 1982 due to legal and commercial issues. A 2.8-liter V6 powered the automobile to the 88 miles per hour required by Doc Brown's flux capacitor to send Marty McFly on his time travels in Back to the Future. The DeLorean DMC-12 will return in 2021, this time as a continuation model made from fresh and used parts. Expect the restored vehicle to come with a new engine and features that were unheard of in 1980. Isn't time travel a great thing? Number 1 2014 Mercedes AMG G63 6x6 Mercedes produced a G-Class that was significantly more extravagant than the current model in 2013. The Mercedes AMG G63 6x6 was substantially modified, adding an extra axle and wheels under the pickup bed, giving the truck six-wheel drive. 
The improved G-Wagon included five differential locks and other specialized technology to make it practically unstoppable. The engine was an AMG-tuned 544-horsepower twin-turbo V8. While the outside of the G63 6x6 was all business, the interior was a different story. It was finished with S-Class luxury materials and finishes. The seats are made of diamond-stitched leather, while the headliner is made of Alcantara. 